when a mysterious carnival rolls into a small farm town on a spooky October night, the usual calm is shattered by eerie music and unsettling sights. This isn't an ordinary carnival. It's the Dark Carnival, filled with grotesque attractions and sinister clowns. Lucy the Black Cat and Leo the Orange Cat with their unquenchable curiosity and fearless spirits decide to uncover the secrets lurking within as they navigate through the twisted clouds juggling skulls and a carousel of skeletal horses they realize the carnival holds a darker power that threatens their town at the heart of the carnival stands a massive black tent guarded by clowns with fiery red eyes Inside, a shadowy figure warns them of the perilous journey they face. With bravery and quick thinking, Lucy and Leo must confront the dark forces and break the carnival spell. Will they escape the shadows and swirl around them and save their town from the grip of darkness? Join these courageous feline heroes in Lucy and Leo at the Dark Carnival, a thrilling tale of mystery magic, and the enduring power of courage. But beware, for not all that enter the Dark Carnival are guaranteed to leave. On a dark and spooky October night, a traveling carnival rolled into a small rural farm town. The town's residents, used to the quiet hum of crickets and the rustling of leaves, were startled by the eerie music that drifted on the wind. This wasn't any ordinary carnival. It was a dark carnival, shrouded in mystery and fear. Lucy the Black Cat and Leo the Orange Cat watched from the safety of a nearby barn. The two cats, curious and brave, were determined to uncover the secrets of this unsettling spectacle. The carnival's clowns with their twisted grins and unsettling laughter, led a parade toward the fields on the outskirts of the town. The somber, spine-chilling music sent shivers down the spines of anyone who dared to listen too closely. As the clowns reached the field, they began setting up their tents and attractions. The air grew colder. The moon hid behind thick clouds, casting the field in an even more ominous darkness. Lucy and Leo their curiosity peaked, decided to venture closer. Sticking to the shadows, they crept towards the carnival, their eyes wide and ears perked. From their vantage point, Lucy and Leo saw the carnival's true nature. The attractions were not the joyful, bright spectacles of a typical fair, but grotesque and macabre. The clowns juggled with skulls, 
and the carousel was adorned with ghostly, skeletal horses. The Ferris wheel turned slowly, each seat occupied by a ghostly figure whose mournful eyes glowed in the dark. The cat's fur bristled as they approached the heart of the carnival. In the center stood a massive black tent, its entrance guarded by two particularly sinister clowns. Their eyes glowed a fiery red, and their painted smile seemed to widen as Lucy and Leo drew nearer. The music grew louder, more haunting, as if calling to the brave feline duo. Summoning their courage, Lucy and Leo slipped past the clowns into the tent. Inside, they found an enormous shadowy figure seated on a throne made of bones. The figure's eyes glowed with an otherworldly light, and it spoke in a voice that en echoed with centuries of darkness. Welcome, little ones, the figure intoned. You have ventured far to uncover the secrets of the Dark Carnival, but beware, for those who enter may never leave. Lucy and Leo exchanged a determined glance. They would not be intimidated. The figure's laugh echoed through the tent, and it raised a hand, summoning shadows that swirled around the cats. Just as the shadows closed in, Lucy and Leo sprang into action. Lucy darted forward, her claws flashing through the sh shadows while Leo leaped high, knocking over a lantern that set the tent ablaze. The figure screamed in fury as the flames consumed the tent. The shadows recoiled, freeing the cats. The carnival erupted into chaos as the fires spread. The clowns and ghostly figures vanished into the night, their dark magic broken by the blaze. Lucy and Leo raced out of the tents, their hearts pounding. They watched from a safe distance as the entire carnival was engulfed in flames. The eerie music finally silenced. As the first light of dawn broke, the townspeople emerged from their homes to find the field empty, the carnival gone without a trace. Lucy and Leo, their fur singed but spirits unbroken, Return to their barn, having saved the town from the dark carnival's sinister grasp.
As the sun rose higher, casting a warm light over the quiet town, the memory of the dark carnival began to fade, leaving only whispers and old stories behind. They took comfort in knowing that they had the courage to face the unknown, no matter how frightening. And so, Lucy and Leo continued their adventures, always watching, always prepared, for they were the guardians of the town, ready to protect it from any dark force that dared to return. The story of the brave cats who vanquished the dark magic spread through the town, and Lucy and Leo were hailed as heroes. But they knew, deep down, that the darkness might one day return. And when it did, they would be ready.